class. Um, I, I, I think I bought one of these back in the day from like artisans. You know, they have artisans. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh, when I was living in Taos, oh, I think I might have got one up there. <laughs> no, I got it before then. But sometimes artisans might have it, but if they don't, like they, in Albuquerque, they don't have it. They, have the artisans they don't have it? Mm -hmm. But you can find you them can online. Order. You can yeah. go online. What, what are they called? How about if you use like a jar with some heavy, you know, like... I think, I, think this is I think this is better. Um, you know, something heavy. Well, with this, this has already got clay in it, so you wouldn't even need to add that. Yeah. So, yeah, feel free, you guys, to come around and, and uh, to, to kind of push this around and kind of get a feel for it. It's pretty much ready, but, um, but I would, you know, so do that little process. Just Scott, kind of the amount of time you have. No, it's just water in it. No, but will you add it? Yeah. Okay. The amount of time you spent on that was probably enough then that first time you did the molar on that. Uh -huh. It wasn't that long, and I kind of, you know, was talking and stopping, you know. Okay. So, you know, each one will take a little bit just to depend on, you know, its natural texture if it has more sand or something that, you know. I just do it until it feels, feels nice and smooth, essentially. No, he's going to add egg. So what I'm doing is I'm adding water to my base, right? This is my starting point for if I want to add gum arabic or egg tempera. I can, you know, I can add, add the egg tempera, and that's what, this is the gum arabic, right? I, I took the actual oh, pigment and mm -hmm. added the gum arabic um, to that to create wow. this. Wow, that's um, a lot. But because egg tempera goes bad, you know, right. you only want to make up as much as you're going to use. Right. So one egg will actually go a pretty long ways. Um, so then when it dries, it doesn't go bad? Egg? Um, or do you have to cover it with art? Which, so the reason why I make it like this is because now if I, you know, want to use some of this, yeah, no, I can actually take this and push it aside. Right. Not all of it. I'll take some of it, push it aside, add my egg yolk to it. And if I use it all up, then I can just take more of this and add more egg yolk to it. Right. But what I ask so, is when it dries, is then the egg No, 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 no. It's just, it's just if you have extra egg yolk that they don't use in that session, oh, it'll go ransom time, right? Oh, right yeah, exactly. And just toss, toss it. But if you mix up this, this is the actual gum arabic. Gum arabic. With honey. With honey. And I think there's like, I think I'm probably put a preservative in there too, but it's not something that's. Oh, I can't wait to paint with that. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Exactly. But, and this will dry a little bit different too. That one's going to dry the color you see. You know, if you want a different shade of green, you just have to add oh, white or pink to the thinner, you know. On Is it going to dry lighter or darker? This will probably dry a little bit lighter, but it will probably be pretty similar to what you see here. The 100 mesh makes it fine enough that you don't see the... I bought pigments before for watercolors, and I've had to regrind them, even though they're just uh -huh. ultra ground. Fine, yeah. So, with the, the egg tempera, we pretty much want just the yolk, right? They, they have used um, the egg white for what they call glare. It's like more for painting on... Uh, parchment, or you know, like some of like the old books in, the, oh. in Europe, they they use the, the the glare or the egg white for that. So that can be used as well. But I, with egg tempera, technically we're just using the actual yolk. And so I, I'm going to separate. How critical if you get some white? Is it? It's not super critical, but you don't store it's it's uh, shiny. Yeah, it's more shiny. Um, and so. What you want to do is kind of just roll it back and forth in your hand so that it gets rid of all the, the white. Oh, and no, then you can use a piece of cloth. Yeah, you can, yeah, it's as well. This is just easy. And then actually, once you get it all off, you can actually uh, the white off the yolk. Um, if you're gentle enough, sometimes it works. You can actually pick it up between two feet. Wow, look at him. You don't want the actual sack, you just want the what's inside of it. Very impressive. Oh my god. So you can see that's the outside of it, right? And that's something that you just want to discard too. You can see here. Really? He's done that once or twice. Very impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> I did this with kids a lot, and they <laughs> go through like a dozen eggs. Yeah. And I'm like, we don't eat that much.
So that one just broke in my hand. And what I'll do is I'll just. Oh, you still got it. Yeah, I still got it. I'll just put that sack over there. Egg temper you can just mix with water. But because we're not painting on a rigid surface, I'm going to add that oil to it to keep it from being, uh, well, it's less fragile if I add the oil to it. Can you buy stand oil or do you have Yeah, to you can buy that at our supply store. I, yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, you can. I don't know how long you have to cook linseed oil to make sand oil. I just buy it, yeah. But you know, when at the paint store, they have. I don't know what he told me. Yes. Um, where's that blue book look at? There's egg yolk, two parts, stand oil, uh, one part, and then water, three parts. Okay, say that again. Try to add. And then I'll stir this up together, and then I'll add the water to it, and then I'll sh So, I'm not, I'm not going to add all this, because that's going to, we'll see if we need more, because it goes bad. Well, actually, you know what? I'll do that's not that much. I'll just have it. So that's the pigment with the water? Uh-huh. That's the, the water, like the paste that I made. What paste? Yeah. Um, with the, the pigment water. And then I'm just going to mix in the tempura. That. Yeah, exactly. And then you can kind of, you know, you use a molar again real quick if you want to kind of get it nice and really mixed. See, I might need to actually have more. That's gorgeous.